Welcome back. Given APC's woeful performance at the presidential polls, how confident are you that your candidate, Mr. Dakoko Peter Side, will win the elections that are coming up? What woeful performance? Are you were beaten by resoundly who? by, by the PDP in the presidential and polls, you, you according believe, to the official and results? You believe that? INEC went and investigated and came back and said they didn't find enough to obtain, uh, change the results. Uh, no, so no. officially can, you can, lost okay. in can, state. Can, can you listen? If you listen. Now, you had a situation where over 400 APC members were arrested and put in detention. You had a situation where we said no resource sheet in all of the local government areas. If you even be thanking PDP for not writing 2.9 million or 2.1 million, <laughs> that they were magnanimous enough to, to stop at 1.4. Results were written. And I'm ashamed that even you, you can say, you can use the word. I woeful. am going with the official no, results. No, but you, but because it's the question, official results that question, gave you the of, presidency. Part of your question should also include the fact that as soon as the agents of APC called me to say we, we did not see the results sheet anymore, we protested and we stopped. We did not, when we say boycott, we did not boycott the election. We stopped the election from taking place. Do you or do you not accept the presidential election oh, results? Oh, okay, I do. So, okay, we lost one by 1.4 million. If accepting it will make us keep uh, the victory, I accept the 1.4 million. Okay, let's, so, let's wait until. So, so, let's wait so, until. So, so, what will you do different for Saturday. the governorship let's election? Wait until, let's wait until Saturday. What the will you thing, do different? I can't tell you that. That will be. That will be talk, I'm talking to the public. I'll be talking to PDP, and they will go and prepare for the election. Now, so, you do have a strategy? Yes, we do. But that's not what I'm going to discuss here with you. What the PDP did. And now we have the list of we have a list of national service corps members in River State. We have five thousand NYC members in River State, and there are four thousand four hundred pulling boots in River State. So you have enough NYC members. What APC did, uh, PDP did was to take their members, and we showed that to to INEC because we brought a picture of a, a, a gentleman who was a week ago in a PDP rally with a PDP T-shirt, suddenly wear a NYC uniform <laughs> on a Saturday. We showed it was on the internet. We, we okay. it. Now, hold on. We are saying that INEC must guarantee. Because INEC is a, there are two things we face INEC, the police, and the army. So, INEC and security. If you guarantee this, leave the rest. Reverse people would have been voted against Good Lord Jonathan. Because it was are the, there any indications now, since the presidential polls have been announced, that the police and the army are going to play a similar role? that you allege they played in the presidential polls. What's happening on the streets of Rivers? What has happened school? so far is they are browbeaten by the result of the presidential election. So they have not arrested any APC members yet. But if not, by this time last week, <laughs> APC members were on the run. Everybody minus me. They withdrew Dakuku Peter side security, thereby endangering his lives. Does he now have security? He does. He now has security. Before they took off. We were, let me give you an example. We will go to rallies, no police. The one we had yesterday, there were policemen. So I turned, I said, you know the president said, the president let said, change has come. Turn your back and see change. And everybody started clapping because they now saw gun thirteen policemen in about four or five vehicles to protect them. Before we went to rallies, there were no policemen. We went to rallies, women were killed. And that's why I, the executive yesterday approved that we set up a, a commission of inquiry, a judicial commission of inquiry on the deaths in River City. How many people have died, as far as you know, over the last few weeks, over this campaign um, issue? I don't, I don't know issue. which the figures they give me is correct. The figures they gave me is 34, but I want to verify from both SSS and police to confirm that over that 34 persons actually died. But if, if you add the one that happened yesterday, seven persons died in Omoko, no way. The, the magnanimity that the APC is showing over corruption, where the president-elect has said he's going to draw a line and want to look forward. Are you going to extend this to things like <coughs> murder and the things, no, no, the no, life, the killings of people? Murder is more, more difficult for anybody to see. Just, uh, what, if you don't do anything about murder, people will carry their own matches and kill somebody else. So if you, you have to reduce the number of deaths in the, in, the, in the society or community, the Nigerian community or the But would you community. be encouraging investigations of and course, prosecution just, of people? Of course, I'm also here that we will set up a commission. Yesterday in the Executive Council meeting, while an emergency Executive Council meeting, where we set up a commission of inquiry, headed by, I won't call his name, even though we've, made it, we've agreed on it, just for me to uh, announce the, the commission. Because we want to know who ordered the shooting in Okreka, who ordered the killing of people in Omoko, who killed the people they killed on the election day, who bought the weapons, 
Who are these gentlemen? These are things we are looking for. Now, yours is a relatively rich state compared to other states in Nigeria. Um, do you get anything between 12 to 19 billion monthly in allocation? Um, what can you tell the people of River State about what you've done over the last eight years that should convince them to give Mr. Peter Side the mandate to carry on the, this? The primary health care, because when we came, we decided to do build primary health centers all over the state, and we built at, at least 140. We hired over 400 doctors. When I came, there were only 200 doctors. I had to hire another set of 400 doctors to make, to make it 600. The, those doctors that were posted to the rural areas will account for the votes that we have. When I came, there were two teachers to a school. I employed 13,200 teachers. I rebuilt primary schools just like I tried to rebuild. Okay, I demolished the old primary schools and built new uh, primary schools. Now I'm renovating secondary schools. There are new secondary schools that are built different from the ones I'm renovating. There are roads that we've constructed, both rural and township roads. Now we are doing water. What uh, about the hospital? Okay, that's why we have a problem. Why we have a problem is that I stopped the hospital when I found out that the man who came with the idea is a, is a foster. We spent three billion, he took the three billion, all they did was foundation. Only from, because you know we were new then. We were hardly about three months old when he came with, oh, if you give me. That doesn't speak well about your judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget that I'm human. I don't know if you, if you think I'm a rock star. Go, uh, uh, no, you're a man who people trusted, you know, with governing them. Because they believe can, there are certain can things you, listen, you can do. Kadira, you learn on the job. I wasn't born a governor. Now, if somebody came to me and said, if you paid me $150 million, no, is it $150 million? I said, yeah, also, I will build for you a thousand bed hospital. The exact amount, I think, for that project is $150 million. Right. And then he yes. showed you, man, if I tell what you're doing with it, now you will run. He even has a photograph of River State Hospital, which he built at $150 million, and he's showing to governors. <laughs> so it sounds like you didn't do due diligence on this man. I think we were just barely three months old. We didn't, we are, now we have a due process uh, board, a commission in place. Then we didn't have anything. Don't forget that when we met River State, River State the go, contracts were awarded inside government house. People were paid inside government house. The ministries were redundant. But in the course of my governance, be, before one year, we had started be setting up the commission and making sure that all ministries were, would do their jobs and would be held accountable. That's why people say, oh, we'll investigate the government. I say, thank God. Will the people of Rivers recover the money that has been expended on this hospital project, which is clearly you know, you know, you know, one not thing, working one out? Thing, one thing I would like about it is a proper investigation there. And I arrested the gentleman, asked them who, the, who went to release the man. I did arrest him. Who went to take the man on bail? Who went to put pressure on the police? And again, now in the spirit of drawing a line under things, will he get away with it? Or oh. maybe you need to give you a pencil. You're too, you're too interested in this drawing line. <laughs> well, because the money is being talked about, our money is belonging to Nigerians, yeah, and but that's... it seems like everybody is happy for, to walk away. You see, I, I tell Rivers people, and Rivers people know that for 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 free. I don't like money. You won't catch me stealing somebody's money. No, but that is but it's not about you. Hold on. And I did, what you should therefore ask is the police. Because did you report the matter to the police? The answer is yes. It's all like the case of Wiki and others, you say you didn't report to the police. This very one of the hospital, I called the commissioner of police. I reported the matter officially and I asked him to be arrested. He was arrested. And then released. Well, as for your principle. Let us take a break. Ray.